What is up everybody, Jordan here with the deck box coming back to you tonight for the first time ever with uh, Forbidden Light on PTCGO. I'm, I'm super excited to finally have um, this, this set on PTCGO to be able to play with. You know, I've made these uh, different PowerPoints kind of going through some of the lists I've thought of and you know, just kind of been theory mounting a lot, but haven't had a chance to truly sit and test it. Uh, and so with <clears throat> with it being out on PTCGO, I can finally do that. Um, so I've been working on getting a lot of the cards. Uh, I think really right now all I'm kind of needing are the Ultra Necrozmas to kind of round things off. And a few Malamar, I guess, if I really want to try that out, which I know some of you probably won't see. Um, so I'll have to get those as well. But I got pretty much everything else to put together. Uh, quite a few different lists, uh, or at least update some old ones to kind of look at. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to hop into this. The first list that uh, that I want to mess with on here is the Quad Zygarde list that I put together um, not too long ago. <clears throat> this is just a really, really hard hitting deck um, that also sets up, I would say fairly quickly considering how, how kind of tanky it is. Um, and it has longevity, you know, it has protection in its attacks. And we'll talk about that in a second here. Um, in fact, we're gonna talk about it right now. I'm gonna hop right into the list. Um, so, obviously it's a quad Zygarde list, we're playing four of the new Zygarde GX. Uh, if you haven't seen this card yet, uh, this is it in all its glory, we'll do the full art one, show that off a little bit. Um, so it's a, a uh, basic with 200 HP, uh, it's a fighting Pokemon, so that's very good for the meta right now. Weakness to grass, resistant to nothing, a retreat cost of three, so kind of tanky there. Um, but that's okay, it's a better retreat cost than two. You can at least use Heavy Ball with this if you choose. So going through the attacks, uh, we do have Cell Connector for the first attack for a DCE. You get to attach two Fighting Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, and it does 50 damage. So pretty solid, uh, good first attack. Um, you have the potential to be able to set things up quickly there. And you also have the potential to take some easy knockouts early on in the game. So that is um, something to consider when using this list. Um, so really the goal is on that first turn, um, if you go second, then hopefully you can get a couple fighting energy into the discard pile, uh, probably through Ultra Ball or Sycamore or whatever, um, and then use Cell Connector and get those two fighting energy on, and then you're ready to go for your next two attacks. Lands Wrath being the first one for 130 damage, uh, kind of vanilla there, nothing too special. Um, it does one shot a Zorark but that's no surprise, most of this guy's attacks are going to one-shot Zorox. Uh, and the next attack, the GX attack, Verdict GX, does 150 damage, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX during your opponent's next turn. So it doesn't sound that great. Uh, I mean, it, it is great that you get to prevent the damage, yada yada, but typically that's just not enough to include a Pokemon. Um, what makes this guy so good is you can actually use his GX attack over and over and over if you do things appropriately. So um, there's a few things to consider. One is the fact that you can reuse it. And the way we reuse it is actually with the new supporter card, Bonnie. Uh, you can play this card only if there's a stadium card in play. Discard that stadium card during this turn. Your uh, Zygarde GX can use its GX attack even if you have used your GX attack. So you can repeat it. Um, and it doesn't say that it has to be Zygarde that used its original GX attack in order for Zygarde to use it again. You could have used Buzzwell's GX attack and then later play Bonnie and Zygarde can use his again. So that's really what kind of um, boosts Zygarde a bit. Plus you do have Diancie and Regirock that adds an additional 30 damage. You're up to 180, choice band 210. So not only does it one-shot Zorox, it one-shots every other uh, stage one, you know, as far as um, Galissapod goes, Lurantis, uh, Lycanroc, all the... Uh, the evolutions, things like that. So that is something very, very important to consider is that Zygarde can take on all those Pokemon as well. So then from there, some support Pokemon. I did choose to include one of the new Baby Buzzwalls, very quickly becoming one of my favorite cards from the new set. Um, but obviously, you know, if, if Hoopa shows up, this is your counter to Hoopa. Um, you can one-shot it pretty easily uh, just with a Regirock and a... Um, Diancie out, maybe swinging for 120. I believe Hoopa only has 110 or 120. It, it could be 130, so I could be wrong, but you still have swing around uh, where you could um, one-shot it as well if you really needed to. Um, 
then, oh, sorry, I didn't finish going over the card. So yeah, it's there to counter Hoopa, obviously, but it's also good for the prize trade. Um, you know, you're able to take down Zorox pretty easily. If your opponent has exactly four prize cards, you get to do an additional 90, that's 120. Um, so you're gonna be one-shotting Zorox, which is very important. Um, and at the same time, you know, maybe you have a, a mirror match situation where you're up against uh, Zygarde. This is one way to kind of get around that. You're not going to one-shot it, you know, you're going to be two-shotting it, but hey, you get to attack it, you know, so that, that is something to consider. Lid for there, excuse me. <sighs> Stayed up way too late, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, then from there we have Buzzwell GX. Uh, we've had this card for, you know, months now, and uh, it's really there for a couple reasons. One, it has a different weakness than Zygarde, and so kind of my, my thought process behind it is in the Buzzwell list before, uh, we did play one Zygarde EX because it had different weakness, so it wasn't weak to Mew or Mewtwo. Uh, and so I figured in this one, we'll play one Psychic weak and the rest Grass to kind of counterbalance, uh, depending on the matchup. And I've talked about most of the stuff in the previous PowerPoint that I used to go over this, uh, but I like going over it again before we play the match, just so you guys know. Uh, then of course, Buzzwall has these attacks, Jet Punch. Uh, is great for sniping, set things up. This is gonna be something that allows us to put on some early pressure, especially if we don't start with a DCE, because if we don't start with a DCE, then Zygarde can't attack. So if we start with a fighting energy, Buzzwall can at least spread some energy and kind of get things going. Um, and also he has some really good uh, secondary attacks, 160 damage, knuckle impact, uh, with Diancy and Regirock and Choice Bane, you're pretty much taking everything down. And then Absorption GX is a really solid uh, GX attack for early in the game, and then like I said, Zygarde can still reuse his GX attack later. Uh, then, you know, we've talked about Diancy and Regirock quite a bit, but essentially Diancy adds an initial 20 damage for your fighting Pokemon, and Regirock adds 10 more damage, so you're adding 30 between the two, basically a free choice band for uh, attacking all the Pokemon, which is really solid. The best thing about Diancy though is it is a one prize attacker, um, or one prize support rather, uh, as opposed to um, Regirock being a two prize support. So that makes Diancy a lot better uh, than Regirock in this situation. It's doing double the damage um, for half of the prize cost. Then, of course, two Tapu Lele. This is going to help us to search out our initial search uh, or initial um, draw supporters to get things going, whether it's Lily or, or Sycamore or whatever. Uh, that's what it's there for. And then maybe later in the game, if we need Bonnie, uh, we can play down a Lele and search for Bonnie and reuse that GX attack. Then from there, I uh, played in a 2-2 Octillery line. Uh, to be honest, so far playing this list, I haven't had to put Octillery down. Um, this list just kind of sets up pretty simply on its own. Octillery, I imagine, would just kind of push it over the top, so we'll have to see how that works out for us. Then from there, getting into the items, I only played one Field Blower, mainly because the only, so, um, uh, the only, what's the word? Abilities, sorry. The only abilities we're using are pretty much the additional damage um, you know, Lele, which every deck has, and then Octillery. So these aren't like crucial to the deck. I mean, yeah, they help, but uh, we can still get around um, Garbotoxin in those situations, even if those are shut down. Then from there, we do play three Max Elixir. Obviously, these are some tanky Pokemon. We want to get them set up as quickly as possible, and Max Elixir is going to help us to do that. Then one Special Charge. We do run four DCE in the list, uh, so we need to make sure that we can get those back. Um, so that we can reuse them. Then of course Super Rod, that is going to help us uh, to be able to get back Pokemon, to be able to get back basic fighting energy, and uh, that way we don't run out of things when we need them, uh, and perhaps we can recycle some things. Then from there, for Ultra Ball, uh, pretty obvious, we need to find our Pokemon, this is how we're going to do it. Uh, then our uh, two different stadiums we play in here, because Bonnie does need stadiums in play. We do play three Brooklyn Hill, this is to kind of set up initially and then two Scorched Earth. So the Scorched Earth is there to potentially get some fighting energy into the discard pile. Uh, four Zygarde's, that way they can um, use their first attack, Cell Connector, to attach those fighting energy. That's kind of what it's there for, but also it's good draw support, because what you do is you discard um, a fighting energy from your hand, and then you get to draw two cards. So it's basically like a Zorark, except it's a much quicker one, because you just slap down the stadium, you're good to go. Um, problem is when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, you know, no way to really get it back in this list. Then from there, you know, we've talked about Bonnie. We do play three of these. Uh, really, in a perfect world, you only need to use Bonnie twice, but this is just kind of make sure we draw into it. Then from there, our draw supporters, we play three Cynthia, two N, one Sycamore, 
and one Lily. So the goal really is to use Lily turn one um, with as small of a hand as possible so we can draw to where we have eight. Uh, and then of course Sycamore discard and is kind of there for disruption and Cynthia is there to preserve your hand. So between all those, we have seven draw supporters plus Octillery. I think we're in pretty good shape. Didn't really have any issues drawing into them uh, during the games that I tested this. Then we play three Guzma. This of course, um, you know, it's there so we can take the knockouts we want to take. We don't want things to get stalled in the active. Guzma is going to help us out of those situations. Um, plus, you know, Zorark is kind of rampant right now. So you can use Guzma to just bring up a Zorark and take an easy KO on him. And then for tools, three choice band just to hit the right number. You know, we've talked about this a little bit. Between choice band, Diancie, and Regirac, that's an additional 60 damage every time you go to face an EX or GX, which is just insane uh, that we can do that because... Um, he bumps it to 190 with Landsrath and 210 with Verdict GX. Those are two very key numbers. 190, of course, being for things like Buzzwall. Uh, it'll hit Lele's, um, Boo Loose, things like that. And then Verdict GX swinging for 210. You know, that's all of our stage ones. That's also Ho-Oh because Ho-Oh, although it has 190 uh, HP, it does have resistance by 20 damage. So uh, we'd have to use Verdict GX with all those combinations to hit 210 to take down a Ho-Oh. So some very key numbers there. Uh, then the one float stone, you know, these are some heavy Pokemon and uh, we don't want to get one of them stuck in there that we don't want, mainly the Regirock or the Diancie, we don't want to get stuck in the active, um, but uh, the others we can kind of work with. Then from there, for uh, closing off the list, we do play 4 DCE and 10 Fighting Energy. This will, of course, allow us to attack. Um, and I feel like 10 is a decent number of Fighting Energy to be able to hit our Max Elixirs, to also be drawing into these things to discard. Uh, to draw cards as well. So without further ado, we're gonna hop onto the ladder. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab a quick game and uh, kind of show off the list for you guys. Um, like I said, I've put out a ton of, uh, of different PowerPoints um, on YouTube recently with uh, lists from this new set. I'm gonna be going through those. So if it seems like I'm repeating things, I'm really not. I'm just I'm showcasing how they play now for you guys just so uh, I can kind of put some um, uh, what's the word? Some backup, I guess, to to the theory mod, so we can see if these lists work out. Uh, and I've also made some tweaks. You know, if, if uh, people made comments on the video that said, "Hey, you might want to consider this or consider that," then uh, I consider those things. And um, you know, I, I want to better the list, and I think by taking people's opinions, that'll definitely help. All right, so we do get to take an additional mulligan, at least one. All right, and it's a Zorak list. This will be pretty easy for us. We get to take two mulligans, so I'm okay with that. I would love to draw into a DCE and a Scorched Earth, actually. Um, I can use Scorched Earth to dump this guy, get the DCE attachment, probably play Diancie, probably play the Choice Band just to get out of my list, and then Cynthia to shovel things away. I think that would be a good starter to this. And I know that was a big prime combo there that I'm talking about, but who knows? You never know. Our opponent's going to take a sweet time setting things up. Did he walk away? There we go. Awesome. Uh, yes, we will take those. Nope. Ugh. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. I guess we just hatch. We're not going to be... Um, we're not going to be knocked out next turn. And we're not going to be able to attack this turn. So we might as well play the one. And we should potentially be able to get the other one. Alright, cool. Plus, I mean, yeah, we have that DCE, so next turn, even if we don't get uh, uh, just a fighting energy, we can get a DCE and still attack. All right, I'm trying to think here. Best option, best option. Oh, man, I really want to put something out there that's good. You know what? I won't need Regirock EX because of weakness. And I really won't need Choice Band because of weakness. Yeah, so we'll dump those two for now. I feel comfortable with that. I'm going to grab another Zygarde because I want to be able to uh, start elixir, start elixiring 
I've set him up. So, prize, no energy. That's really good. Uh, da, 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 da. Prize, one ultra ball. Prize, one Zygarde. Prize, the baby buzz ball is four. Memory is five, and then something else. That's fine. I'm happy with this. Alright, so we can elixir. Start getting two of these guys set up. That is kind of the goal. And then from here, we'll just pass. Um, so if they don't get their um, Zerua out of the active, we're actually taking a knockout on it next turn. No, it's kind of minor, but uh, every prize counts. Every prize counts. See what our opponent opts to do. I would imagine we would see a Bridget if possible, if he could get it out there. Uh, if he can't, then he's kind of stuck. And I'm hoping he plays something this turn. Maybe. Say hello, see if he's awake. I mean, if he's not there and he just passes, we win the game. We'll grab another game, obviously, guys. I'm not going to leave you with something like that. Hello. Hmm. All right, we just win the game. Look at that, double DCE. That's how you play. Cell connector, knockout, yada, yada, yada. I didn't want to scoop because I didn't want to give mess my record up. There we go. Alright, we'll grab another game with this, obviously. So just a heads up, uh, some of the other lists that I've already put together that I know I'll be uh, recording over the next week, um, we're going to do Zorark Zygarde, uh, we're going to do Buzzwall and Naganadel, we're going to do a new updated Buzzwall list. Um, I am actually going to, I'm going to try out uh, Obama Snow Zorark. I'll see if it's worth our time of putting it out. Um, I mean, yeah, I know that uh, it could be complete garbage. And if it is, then it's not worth you guys' time looking at, but I'm going to give it a shot and have some fun with it, for sure. Alright, so we're playing against a fighting deck, timer balls, puzzle, uh, maybe Zorark Lucario. Would not be surprised by that, that would be okay with me. This is a very heavy GX list, and that's kind of what we're going for. All right, so I'd love to top deck a Fighting Energy. That is the goal here. Fighting Energy, play down Scorched Earth, discard the Fighting Energy, grab ourselves a DCE and maybe like a Shuffle Supporter. We have Octillery in hand though, so that's pretty good. I'd be okay with this hand. Uh, just stick with it. Okay, so it's Zorark Lycanroc, not Zorark Lucario. That's all right. So we have to watch our bench because we could be in danger of a um, dangerous rogue. I think we just pass. Well, uh, let me get this guy to be active first. We'll do that. Yeah, I don't need to play Red Jirak. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, and I'm definitely not giving them a Scorched Earth if I don't get to use it. So we'll be able to get Octillery, we'll play down Regirock, we'll play a Scorched Earth, I guess. That still only gets us down to three, maybe four, depending on what we top deck. I'd love it if we got like an Ultra Ball, because then we can kind of shrink things up a bit. So our target's in this game. We need to go for a couple Zoroarks and perhaps a Lele. That would be really solid for us. <sighs> Excuse me. All 
right, so we see energy drive just for 70 damage. Uh, this is trash. We'll play this here. Why not? We'll play this here. Come on, fighting energy. Okay, uh, we can work with that. Dang. Can we work with that? Let's do this because I'm just going to grab myself. Oh, oh. I'm going to grab myself a Lele. And I'm just going to grab a Sycamore. So yeah, Lele is actually going to be able to knock me out if I attach that from the discard. But if I super add it back in, then maybe swinging for one, two, three, four is 80, 110, 80. So you'd have to get another DCE or just a basic energy to knock me out. What are the chances? They're pretty good, but they're guaranteed if I leave that in there, so I'm going to have to use the super ad now, as much as I hate to do it. And once he takes the knockout, Buzzwell is going to be there to take down his Zorark. So, joke's on him. Alright, we're swinging for 90. So we're going to two-shot this thing if he doesn't knock us out. So that's, that's the good news. I'm okay with that. Awesome if that's all he had. <clears throat> Alright, so we see a trade. And the question is if he gets like rock, is he gonna use the ability? Probably not, I would imagine. It's gonna feel blower our floatstone away. Maybe scorched earth. Or the choice band. I would have gone for the choice band, honestly. I don't know why he wouldn't just use the scorched earth himself. Unless he doesn't play a lot of basic fighting. That would make sense. All right, so we see a DC on Zorak. Man, he could have knocked us out. Oh, no, there's the knockout with Kikui. There you go, that's how it's done. All right, that's okay. Um, <laughs> we'll take our first knockout with this Buzzwall. Then his Zorak won't be able to knock us out. He'll have to use Lycanroc if he wants to knock us out. And, um, which is fine if he wants to do that. But if he doesn't, then I'm taking down that Zorark. Nope, don't want you. Get this guy. Set him up. Uh, a little bit of hand for the one. Choice band. We'll put that on there. A Lily. Grab three fresh cards. Play down another Zygarde. And we will Sledgehammer. That's knockout number one. Go. There we go. Zygarde and an energy. Okay. So if he hits this, he gets a Lycanroc. Yep. And he'll probably pull out... Oh no, he went with a Zorark. Interesting. But I guess he may not have the energy. Maybe. I, I doubt he doesn't. But you never know. If he doesn't have a knockout on our buzz wall, then we're just like in an amazing spot. Because we're gonna goose up his Zorark and knock it out and take two more prizes. Okay, so he's not knocking out the buzz wall. What's your, what's your goal here?
I mean, he, you know what? He could take out the Buzzwall with his Buzzwall. Yeah. Maybe that's his target. That's what he's going for. And I won't be able to knock it back out. Which really hurts. But I could go for a Zorark. 50, 60. It wouldn't knock it out, but it would do damage and set things up. If he's playing double puzzle, I imagine he's probably grabbing back the timer ball and floatstone. Uh, maybe something else besides the timer ball. He could grab like the floatstone then. Oh no, choice band Kukui. Okay. Alright, so there goes our buzz wall with his, ironically enough. Oh, now is he going to bring out something bigger? 21, 50, one sec. He can one-shot a Lele. Is he not going to use Bloodthirsty Eyes? One twenty, one forty, one seventy, one ninety. Yeah, he's swinging for 190. So he could take down Regirock or Lele. He's going to take Regirock, okay. So, I'm swinging for 30, 60 with him. Might as well keep using my baby buzz wall. Take him down, if possible. Two shot him. So if he leaves him stuck in the active, he's getting knocked out. If he tries to swing at me, he's getting knocked out. And then whatever comes up, I'll knock him out. He'll be down to one prize, I'll be down to two. At that point, I should have four energy on my Zygarde, but I need to take a knockout on a two prizer. So that's gonna be the difficulty. Two heads, let's go for that. I don't know why he went for Zorark, unless he didn't have a Lycanroc in there. Let's try to shrink things up, maybe. It's interesting. Okay, so he's taking a knockout on Buzzwall. Ripperonis. Take a look, see. Might as well grab Diancy. Do that. Yeah, we'll just hit him with cell connector for 140. Attach this energy. Now, if we survive this, that'd be great, and then we can use Verdict GX. Well, I mean, we will survive this. He could use his GI. Yep, that's what he's doing. All right. Well, we're going to have to grab another game with this one. That was a very bumpy start there. Okay, he didn't need to take Octillery. He could have taken what was in the active. Overplayer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's grab one more game with this, uh, with this list and see how it does, see if we can do a little bit better.
that's one t uh, one list I've been considering is like a Lycanroc with Zygarde. Just don't know how it would work. I guess it'd be kind of like a Lycanroc Buzzwall, uh, but Lycanroc Zygarde with maybe like a little Buzzwall tack like this or something. Because that ability is just really strong. Okay, this is a good start. Actually, a really good start. Come on. And the best top deck would be a Sycamore, for sure. I know Lily's always kind of prime turn one. Um, or, well, I guess I could get an Ultra Ball for Lele, for Lily. You know, dump the two fighting energy, so get eight cards. That would, I guess, be the prime, except it fills up a bench space with a Lele. But, you know, Brooklyn Hill, that's good. All right, so let's do this. I guess, yeah, probably should have Brooklyn Hill first. All right, let's get a, yeah, we'll get another Zygarde going. I think that's good. Prep the one, there we go. All right, so we still don't know what he's playing yet. Uh, I didn't see the whoop, didn't see the typing before we got started here. So at this point, it could be anything. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, Passimian Mew. Oh my gosh, this deck. This is this still a thing. Uh, this is gonna be fun. My GX attack is useless, basically. I mean, it'll knock it out, but it won't prevent any damage. Um, I hate pissing in so much. So he's probably going in for his other Passimians right now. It looks like he probably found one. So he went for that pretty quickly. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's going to be his attacker. Okay. Okay. Uh, I could fill my bench, or I could have the potential to... Draw uh, Lele for a supporter. I like filling it. Grab myself Diancy. Then I'll use Scorched Earth. And let's see what we can get off this. DCE, that's not bad. So we'll have them all set up. So I gotta remember the numbers for this. It's 30, 60, 70. 100, 130 because of the additional damage. So he's not one-shotting us yet. Uh, he would have to have uh, one more and a choice ban, I believe. Because essentially each of those are doing an additional 60 because of their ability. So 60, 120, 180, 190, 220, okay. Yep, there it is. So we see choice man DCE. That's what it would take. No. Whew. Okay. That's good news. Uh, let's start prepping someone else. Yeah, we'll use him. Uh, you know, we'll keep Lele from doing anything this turn. We'll at least prevent Lele. Just in case he can't get this guy back from the discard to use. I guess he could use me. Well, no, he couldn't because he couldn't use that attack. Okay, so this is this is actually a good start so far. All right, so we see puzzles. 
but it makes me wonder if we're gonna see double puzzle or if we're gonna see single puzzle because he's had a pretty crummy hand. Okay, so we see double, Simeon special charge with still no special energy in the discard. So the question now, okay, so he's gonna go for Cynthia to try to get his stuff. He needs to get DCE choice band to take a knockout here. Which if he does, I'll be very upset. Just saying. Did he not hit it? No. Did not. So he's gonna let me take out one of these guys instead. That's fine, a knockout is a knockout. We'll do Land's Wrath. Alright, this is good because the whole goal of Passimian Mew is just to win the prize trade. And if we can get ahead in the prize trade to start, then winning the prize trade for them means just kind of keeping up with us at that point. So that's good. Because them taking six prizes and us taking six prizes are two very different things. Alright, so we're going to see 40, 100, 160. Yeah, 160 here, I believe. It's, it's hard doing math with Pissimian. Alright, victory. Scooped it on up. Okay, so there, we, we saw in the second game, that's how this Zygarde list is supposed to set up. Um, and <clears throat> I think more often than not, I can do that. Uh, I don't think I played the first game. 100% correct there. So here, real quick, let me show you the list one more time. Um, and if you're looking for like a more in-depth analysis of the list, the PowerPoint slide, uh, just Quad Zygarde is the, the list that it's under, uh, under our deck profiles um, category, uh, or under our deck, uh, deck profile playlist area. You can just go there and you'll find Quad Zygarde there. And, um, you can hear a little bit more in-depth analysis. But for now, here's the list for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy this list. I hope you really enjoy this set, because I'm, I'm super excited about it. And like I said, we're gonna be covering a lot from this set, so I hope you enjoy the set, because if you don't, you're not gonna really enjoy any of these videos. Um, but yeah, there's lots of really good decks coming up from this set, I'm, I'm excited, so. Uh, yeah, so if you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you have anything to say, any comments, just to say hi or whatever, Hit me up in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And actually, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, and I'm sorry not for, for not doing that, um, but we actually reached 251 subs yesterday. I was going for 250. We got 251, um, and I'm just I'm super excited about that. So I really appreciate that, guys. Um, and I guess when I say yesterday, that would have been Friday because this should be coming out Sunday. Uh, I'm recording Saturday. But, um, yeah, so Friday we hit 251 subs. Um which I, to some of you that might not sound like a lot, I'm super excited. I'm I'm uh, I'm still kind of shocked that that it, the channel's gotten to this point. Um, I still consider it a pretty fresh channel, uh, for it to be doing as well as it is. Um, it, it just it's really it's humbling and exciting, uh, and I'm I'm very proud to be a part of it. So so thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, but we're not done. We'll take more subs. Uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to join the 251 other subs uh, for the Deckbox channel, uh, and I would greatly appreciate it. We're on the road to the 1,000 sub mark, and we're going to get there, guys, so uh, be sure to sub. Then, as usual, guys, I will see you in our next video. We're going to be going over some more Forbidden Light, uh, but for now, I have been Jordan with the Deckbox, where I want to know what's in your box. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.